The Bill of May Show. Is it possible, though, that um, if you take a look at the Republicans, they may want many of the same things you want. They just have a different path or believe there's a different way to get there, whether it be education or, or um, you know, creating jobs versus creating dependency. Well, it, it, that's, that's always an interesting note as well, creating jobs or creating dependency. They haven't focused on creating jobs. That's first of all. And first and secondly, if you really want to create jobs, you don't create jobs by raising taxes on 900,000 working people. You don't create jobs by voting suppression. You don't create jobs by cutting 500,000 people's Medicaid because uh, people that are sick can't work. You don't create jobs by undermining public education. The fact of the matter is, and you don't create jobs just by raising, cut, cutting tax for the wealthy and raising the government on the poor. That, that's... Um, you know, that's as old as the 19th century. That's kind of like the Gilded Age philosophy, uh, the philosophy of social Darwinism, and it failed in the, in the 19th century, and it certainly doesn't work now. Trickle-down economics failed. If you want to create jobs, you invest in education. You invest in infrastructure. You invest in the green economy. If you, you want the same things, you don't hurt the most vulnerable among us. And the reason I say that, you know, you said, like I'm not so much a leader as a servant and follower of the people, and I'm a, and from the, it's called Moral Monday. Because mm-hmm. there are some things we ought to agree on, Bill, regardless of Republican or Democrat. In fact, I think they're bigger than Republican and Democrat. These are constitutional values like the common good, the good of the whole, establishing justice, promoting the general welfare. That's not my language. That's the language of our Constitution and our state Constitution. Or the language of our state Constitution says life, liberty, the enjoyment of the fruit of your own labor, and the pursuit of happiness. Or for many of your listeners who are biblical people, I know they are, the Bible says how you care for the least of these, doing justice, helping, uh, loosing the bands of, of wickedness and hurt. One scripture in Isaiah 10 actually says, woe unto those who, who pass unjust laws that rob the poor of their rights. I believe we need a fresh conversation, not a Democrat conversation, not a Republican conversation, not a liberal conversation, not a conservative. I think those categories are too puny. We need a conversation that says, what are the deep moral and constitutional transformative values from which we need to make public policy decisions? I would agree with you. I think there's probably a difference in the sense that um, when we quote biblical scripture, that um, some of us would look at it as being the individual that needs to step up, not necessarily the government. Ultimately, the people of North Carolina elected them. Is I guess immoral seems like a very strong word to me. Is it just really a difference of how we try to accomplish prosperity for all? Not really. I think you mentioned, when, when you mentioned that they want what we want, well, if you want that, you wouldn't be cutting health care. You'd be figuring out a way to expand it. If you wanted voting, you'd be figuring out a way to expand it. You wouldn't hurt 165,000 people who lost their jobs at no fault of their own. There's no rationale for that. Reverend William Barber, what a pleasure. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate your insight. All right. The Bill of May Show.